now, what you hear now. So the, the, the best praise and worship leader is the one that can show up and hear what's in the atmosphere. And they make their anointing count. So is that we, we, we got to do something because now I'm two people dying so we got to take the old lady to the house. And they took it to this man's house. And when it showed up, they left the Ark of the Covenant there, which is the presence of God. This was the Ark of Safety. And the Bible says that his house was blessed. Because when the present shows up, Obedidim said, I'm going to make this. So, Jesus now comes on the scene in the New Testament. He says, I'm about to go to this cross and I'm about to die. But while he was up there, he had a moment of humanity. He was on the cross, he had a moment where he said, Why hast thou forsaken? Why have you left me? In that moment, he really could have come down. Matter of fact, the Bible says I could have called 10,000 angels to my rescue. But while I'm up here, I made it count. One, two, three, four, five. Matter of fact, Revelation says there was a number that could not be counted. His crucifixion, he made it count. He took advantage of that and died for you. So every time I feel his presence, I come to a reality where I'm going to make it count. While you're here, God, heal me of my brokenness. Fix the confusion that's in my mind, the state of mind that I'm in that's not like you. Pluck out everything that does not bring you glory. God, everything that you did not plant, I ask that you would uproot it so that I don't have to deal with that. And God, if this is the cup that I must drink from, give me the strength and the tenacity and the, the strength and the courage. To endure like a good soldier. See, some of y'all gonna go through and give up. But see, I'm going to go through and make it count. God, what you what you want me to learn while I'm going through? What, what am I supposed to obtain? What's the lesson in the midst of this hell? Because I know I'm not going through for no reason. Now, the thing I want to be like Simon, the Bible says, Simon, Simon, Satan wishes to sit through his week, but I'm praying for you that your faith will tell you not. He said, I want you to be encouraged. And I don't want you to faith to fail you. Watch what he says after that. And when it's over, go tell somebody. Mm. That's right. I just showed that to somebody. My God. Mm. Go, go, go tell somebody. Because what we are going through right now is not for you, Evangelist Rufus. It has nothing to do for you, Pastor Tori. What we're dealing with is not about us. It's for somebody. Yeah. Because the Bible declares in Revelation that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And what? The word of their testimony. You think I went through for no reason? No, baby. My testimony got power. I went through only to make it count. Yes, amen. I am a testimony of God's miraculous work, His hand moving and breathing on me. I am the work of unfinished work. Come on now. Daily, He's perfecting me. Daily, He's cleaning me. Daily, He's changing my mind, but don't get it twisted. Yes. Yes. And every now and again, I gotta hold up my sign. Caution, don't mess with me. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. That's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. And in my moments of don't mess with me, God will isolate me, cover me, because Psalm 91 says um, that He will hide me under His wings, under His protection. Uh, he will hide me there. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God, He will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So in my hidden state, it's actually his grace covering me. I preach this at our church the same to an old song and say it again. Grace is so important. Grace covered you when you was in the club last week. Jesus. Grace covered you while you were smoking and you came in here to lead worship. You saw with that man who was already married. Jesus. You didn't get pregnant. That's grace. That's amazing grace. Matter of fact, you slept with everything and you didn't get AIDS. Come on now. That's grace. Yes, 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 yes. Am I talking to the right person? I messed up, but nobody found out. That's grace. So my going through is not for me. I'm gonna make it count. Father, we thank you tonight for your 
word. We thank you for your ability to break this word down. We thank you that in this time, in this moment, we make it count. We thank you that this is the season right now that we are going to grab hold of and obtain everything that the devil thought he stole from us. We declare in this moment that the devil is a filthy liar. There's no truth in him. There's no promises in him. Matter of fact, God, we thank you that you are the way maker. That you will continue to make ways. You will continue to cover us. And we find every stronghold. We come against every principality that is rise up against you, oh God. And we declare the decree, oh God, that no weapon that has already been formed, that will be formed, and that woman right now will be able to prosper against us. We declare that it's all working for yes. our good. Yes. God, I pray for these two people tonight. Yes. I pray that they make this time count. They got some of us are on our second chance. We're on our third chance. We're on our fourth chance. On the fifth. We're on our tenth chance to get it right. But God, we believe that whatever number of chances we are at, yes. we're going to make it. We're not going to throw in the towel here because it's just getting better. God, you're just about to turn up the heat. You're about to turn up the fire. That's why we're going through so much because the enemy see where we're going. See, Satan, God, we thank you, is not prophetic. But he can discern potential. Satan is after our potential. But tonight, God, you've covered us in your grace and your mercy. And we thank you. We lift our hands and surrender. And God, in your presence, we find liberty. In your presence, we find victory. So let the winds of God blow in this place. We don't want to leave without your presence. I won't move if you're not in the next step, God. I don't want to breathe if you're not in my next breath, oh God. That's how much we want to make our moments We declare it as well in our souls. In Jesus' name. Here I am, oh Lord, please take me and use me, oh Lord, here I am.
like he said, make it count. That was a word we couldn't even ask for a better word tonight. Oh, God, I thank you right now so much. Oh, I know so many of us have so much that we're going to go and think about with this one. How much time have we wasted? How much time? I want to ask. I feel like that right now, God. How much time have I wasted? Oh, God, I just... And right now, I ask him even to forgive me for the time that I've wasted. Because I don't want to waste no time. I could be gone tonight. He felt fit for to keep me this long. And yes, I've been through some stuff, but you know what? He showed me he loved me anyway. I'm still here. See, I don't have to fake when I come in that door. When I come in here, my pastor say pray or sing. It's from the heart. And guess what? I ain't tainted. I ain't sleeping around. I ain't messing with nobody, husband. I ain't got a man and I don't want one to tell God. him in a way that he pours so much of his spirit out to the people. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh, I just thank God for him. I thank God for how he used him. I mean, y'all, we have good words all over me right now as I speak. And like I said, I don't mind crying about it. Because see, every tear that falls from me, God, build me up into another place. And tomorrow, like I said, to even tonight, when I go home and rejoice about it, I'm going to still feel the joy of the Lord in the inside. Because that's who I am. He don't break me down for nothing. He break me down and build me back up for his work. But see, the good thing is, I know it. When we get to the place we know it, Sister Nita, I love you, but didn't that word touch you? Yes. It gave you what you needed, some of what you needed last night, right? Yeah. He said it. I know. God, God. Oh, I love you. I love all y'all. Your pastor, because you love you too. God, you carry me out here. Amen. Profound word tonight. 